Hey guys, it's Zay and welcome back to my channel. So today is just going to be a time lapse slash paint with me for this oil and acrylic painting that I just finished. So this was a different process for me because I've never really done a sky or like landscape paintings like in this capacity before, but it was still fun and I still loved it. As you can see, I'm like going over a lot of things and doing them over um, just because I'm not used to like having to blend paint of this size, but it worked out and I think it looks cute. So for the underpainting, I also did that with acrylic, of course. It's just watered down paint. Like I just put a small amount of paint down and then put a bunch of water in it, mix it together. And you know, I just block out the highlights with a damp paper towel. And then I go over with like thicker paint for like the shadows, such as her cheekbone or her neck or like her hair. So I'm using the same technique with this oil paint as I do with my acrylic if you watch my other video. So I'm basically just putting down the dark tones, the mid tones, then the light tones. And you know, I'm going to save all the details and finishing touches for later.
Okay, so if you don't paint with oil, it takes forever to dry. So it took everything out of me not to start blending in with this layer. Otherwise, it would have just like smudged all over the place. But when I put details down and everything, I would just have to put like some paint down, then wait a couple hours to blend it out because if not, it would just smudge all over the place. So that's kind of one of the downsides for me because acrylic, I could just blend, blend, blend because it is faster to dry, but not in this case. So I did come back the next day to blend and add the second layer. And you see me using a makeup brush because I've seen some of my favorites, um, like on Instagram and TikTok, using makeup brushes. And I'm like, hmm, what y'all using makeup brushes for? And hmm, it is the truth, like full face beat with the makeup brushes on the paint. I love it. So I thought I'd try that and it really worked out for the best. So I'm, I will be buying more makeup brushes, obviously. So oil paint is not something I am as skilled with as I am with acrylic. So as you can see with her hair, I was just trying out anything. Um, I was trying to do like a few techniques that I do with acrylic, but clearly that wasn't working. So I was just trying, having fun with the process. And you know, I added some details later and it really looked cute, but it's just a reminder to have fun with your painting. like. Don't try to be a perfectionist like even if you don't know what you're doing try to hold off like obviously if it's not for a commission but try to hold off you know looking up tutorials or anything you know practice just having fun just making art to make art um all right i'm enough with the lecture but that's what i did with the hair
for her shirt and her head wrap i went back to acrylic and what i did was add white gesso to it to make it more thick and opaque and um, i just started doing this recently but it really works out especially for backgrounds or if you're not trying to sit here and wait around for a second coat it really came in handy So I did some floral art behind her, behind the scenes, because it was super detailed and I just knew my head was going to be in the way and I'm just like, why even waste your time doing that and you're going to try to record it and then put it in a YouTube video and then they're going to be like, what was the point of putting this in a YouTube video, girl? We can't even see. But you'll see the floral art and the finished piece. So here is the final piece. Um, one thing that I'll say about the colors of oil paint is they really jump off the canvas. Like they are so vibrant in comparison to acrylic paint or at least the acrylic paint that I work with. Like the colors are very, very rich. So I really love that. Um, I just love how this piece came together. Like I love how the colors complement each other. I love the floral art. I love how, you know, it just gives I'm dreaming, don't wake me up. And I really love that piece. That's what I intended to have for this piece. But thank you guys so much for watching. And do not forget to like and subscribe and comment more content that you guys want to see. And I'll see you next time.